Hi guys, welcome back. Today I brought you along with me. I am on my way to pick up my last grocery haul of 2022. So this is the first actual, I guess, stock up I've done in a long time. I've kind of filled in gaps along the way, but I actually have gone and been in my pantry. I've been inventory doing a, a, an inventory, kind of seeing what what I have, what, what we've used, what I need more of, um, kind of things like that. This holiday season was very um, enlightening for me because, you know, I did my big Christmas baking and then for Christmas we had family Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and we also had overnight guests for a couple of nights around that time as well had a wonderful holiday lots of great time with our family it was just the best time i i really enjoyed my my christmas this year um, but i noticed as i was cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking you know i ran out of several things in my pantry i was actually surprised that i was running that low on things so then i got to thinking you know i'm probably not doing a very good job of, of you know keeping things itemized and keeping track of what I have and where it's at oh my goodness I spent a lot of time looking for things as well so I need to do better and that's what that's what I'm using this time for is to um, kind of revamp my pantry try to um, get better organized I'm going to use labels on my shelves a little bit more because um, I, in my mind I think I know right where everything is but then when I'm in a hurry right in the middle of fixing a big meal for several people and I can't find what I need oh, that's frustrating right so yeah that's what I've been doing I've been in my notebook making a lot of notes um, just, just jotting down a lot of ideas that I want to put in place I've ordered a new shelving unit and if I like it, I'll be ordering more. It's larger, it's more sturdy. Um, I think it will be easier to see what I have with this with this shelf. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So um, I went ahead, I've done my inventory, I made a list and I placed an order for pickup. My knee is bad right now, so I can't, I cannot go in and shop like I would like to do. We went from below zero temperatures to today it's 57. So that that causes my knee to be very painful when temperatures fluctuate like that. So anyway, we're driving over. We're going to do our pickup. When I get home, I'll show you my haul. So be sure and stay tuned to the end of my video. Just keep on prepping. Keep your prepping notebook handy and write your ideas and your thoughts down and let me know how it's going for you all. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay guys I'm back and here's my haul. It's not super huge but I just wanted to be sure I was stocked up on things that I had used, things that I noticed that I had gaps in my pantry shelves. So here's here's what we got. I'll start at this end of the table. I got four cans of evaporated milk. I got 10 cans of green beans because I have used a lot of my green beans. <clears throat> four cans of Rotel tomatoes. Four cans of sliced carrots. I think I forgot to write prices down, but I think the price of green beans were 58 cents. The Rotel was $1.29 a can, and the carrots were 72 cents a can. Chef Boyardee, I got four cans of spaghetti and meatballs. I picked up a jar of jelly and a jar of chili sauce. We're going to have... Um, Cocktail meatballs for New Year's Eve in the crock pot. And the sauce is made up of chili sauce and grape jelly. It makes a wonderful sauce. Okay, I got six cans of cream of mushroom soup. I believe that was 78 cents a can. 
six cans of cream of chicken soup. Same, I, I'm pretty sure it was 68 cents a can. I got the Great Value brand. I got two bags of brown sugar. Each bag was two pounds, but I was completely out by the time I did my Christmas baking and my holiday meals. So I did get those. Picked up a box of Great Value all-purpose baking mix, kind of like Bisquick. Two boxes of Great Value brand of Velveeta cheese. One bag of chips, one bag of tortilla chips. I'll be having nachos soon. Okay, I got four jars of the Jim Beam maple bourbon barbecue sauce. That is our favorite. Two boxes of Chewy Fudgy Brownie Mix, Duncan Hines. Three boxes of the Chicken Stuffing Mix. All right, 20 pounds of all-purpose flour. Yes, I went to my big Vittle Vault that was stuffed completely full at one point, and it is not quite all the way to the bottom, but it's getting close. So I need to restock my flour. I got four jars of pizza sauce, Great Value brand. The only meat I bought this time was two packages of pepperoni for pizza night, a package of Jim, Jimmy Dean sausage, the better cheddars, two packages of cream cheese, great value brand, six Jiffy corn muffin mixes, a party size box of Ritz for New Year's Eve, and a bag of frozen Italian style meatballs, also for New Year's Eve. All right, guys, that's my haul, the last haul of 2022. I wanted to be sure and start my new year off with a fully stocked pantry. Happy New Year, and you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.